Hello and welcome again to this ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we will understand how to work on the change password functionality in ASP.NET Core framework. Remember, we are using the identity framework to deal with the membership. So we will use the same identity framework and we will implement the change password functionality completely from scratch. Let's open the Visual Studio. To work with the change password functionality, we need two things. First one is the old password, that is the current password. And the second is new password. So we can create a new model into our application. Let's go to the models. And here we can add a new model. Let's right click, choose add and click on the class. Let's give it a name. Change password model. Here we need to create few properties. The first is current password, second is a new password. If you want to have one more property for the confirmation of this password, then you can add one more property over here. So string and confirm new password. Now we need to add few validations on these properties. So all of them are required. Then we can also use the data type. The data type is password because all of these are a password type. Data type dot password and we can also use the display attribute over here. We can also use the compare validation over here. We will compare this property with the new password. So here we can write the new password. That's it. Now let's go back to the controller folder and let's open this account controller. Let's add a new method over here for the change password. So I'm going to copy this code, paste it again over here. Let's update few values like change password is the route. Change password is the name of this method and then Let's remove this entire code from here for a while. Let's add a new view for this change password. Right click on this one, choose add view. So we need an razor view, click on the add button. And here you can notice that we have the name of our view. Let's choose a template. The template is of create type. Model class is change password model. So here is the model. And we want to use a layout for the space because the space will be available only for the logged in users. Okay, let's click on the add button. Over here, let's return this view. So we do not need this async keyword over here because we are not performing any operation. We can simply use the return and view. That's it. Let's create one more method for the post operation. Let's copy this code, paste it again. Let's use the HTTP post. And over here, let's use the change password model. Let's validate the model. If the model states are not valid, then we can simply return the model in this view. Let's go to the view folder. In this view folder, let's open the shared one and click on this login info. Over here, along with this logout link, we can add one more link for the change password. Let's copy this code and paste it again. Here I can write change password. Save the changes. The method name is change password. Let's use the change password over here for this ASP action. The controller name is account. So I'll keep it like this. Save the changes and let's run this application by pressing control F5. Let's login into this application. User at the rate test.com. The password is 12345. Click on the login button. Let's click on this drop down. And this time we have one more value over here. The name is change password. Let's click on this one. So here we have the page for the change password. You can upgrade the design of this page as per the need of your application. Okay, so without entering anything, let's click on this change password button. So here you can notice that we are having all the validations. This is required. This one is also required. And this one is also required. Let's enter some details like one, two, three. Then here I'm writing one, two, three, four. And here I'm writing some wrong password. Immediately we are having the error message that the new password and confirm new password does not match. Okay, now we need to work on the backend functionality. Let's go to the Visual Studio. 
let's open the repository folder and let's work in this account repository here i need to create one more method for the change password let's do that and remember we have two managers in this repository one is sign in manager and second one is user manager all the operations that are specific to a particular user all those are available in this user manager changing a password is a part of user manager so we will use this user manager to deal with the change password functionality okay let's do that so here i can simply write wait user manager dot change password async method Let's right click on this method and choose go to definition. Here you can notice that we need to pass couple of things in this method. First one is user. We need to pass the user, then the current password and then the new password. So we need the details of the current logged in user. How to do that? Let's go back to the account repository. We have already created a new user service in the previous video of this tutorial. Let's use that user service to get the ID of the current logged in user. Okay, so first of all, we need to inject that service over here. How to do that? So it is I user service. User service. Let's generate the field. Now by using this user service, we can get the ID of the current logged in user. User service dot get user ID. Now we have the user ID and we can easily get the details of the user. We can get the details of the user by using the user manager dot find by ID async and over here we can pass the user ID. This is an async method so we can use the await keyword over here. Now we have the user details in this user field and the new password and the current password in this model. Let's pass all of them over here. So first we need to pass the user, then comma, the current password. The current password is available in this model dot current password. Then the new password, model dot new password. And let's return it from here. We need to create the same method into the interface. Let's copy it. Go back to the interface. That's it. Now let's go back to the account controller. Over here we can use that same code. How to do that? Let's use the account repository over here. Account repository dot change password async. And in this method we can pass the model. Okay, since this is an async method, we need to use the await keyword like this. In this result variable, we have a property with name succeeded. If this is true, it means the password has been updated successfully. If it is false, it means there is some problem. Now suppose the value is true, so we can clear the fields of this model. So model state dot clear and let's return the view. If the succeeded property is false, it means there is some problem and we need to display those problems onto a UI to the user. Let's see how to do that. And if the password has been updated successfully, then we need to display some message to the user. So we can use a view by property over here. Let's go back to the view of this change password. Let's use a bootstrap alert over here. And let's run this application by pressing Ctrl F5. Okay, let's go to the change password page. So the current password is 12345. Suppose here I'm entering some wrong password 678. Now let's enter the details of the new password. Suppose it is 12345678890. Let's enter again the same password in this confirm new password. 12345678910 click on the change password here you can notice that we are having a validation message that incorrect password because we have entered a wrong current password now let's enter the correct password 12345 this is the current password then 123456 again 123456 this time click on the change password over here you can notice that we have a success message that the password has been updated successfully 
just to validate the password we can log out from this application and let's try to log in again so user at the rate test.com first let's use the old password that was one two three four five click on the login button and here we are having the error message now let's enter the new password one two three four five six click on the login button and the login is working fine so this is how you can work on the change password functionality in asp.net core by using the identity framework i hope the concept of change password is clear now make sure to hit the like button of this video if you want to know anything else then write everything into the comment section share this video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching have a great day